Today I want to show you how I build this uh, prisoner's cart. Actually it was not a, a project uh, very well planned. Um, I just started with this. This is uh, one of the prisoner cage by Ziterdes. Uh, you can check the link below ziterdes.com if you are interested in something of that. And uh, actually in one of my episodes, in one of my encounters, my heroes need to pass through a little, you know, a little valley and there they found this uh, abandoned cart, a prisoner's cart, you know, like this one in the beginning of Skyrim, st same style. They need to understand uh, how to manage the situation because uh, inside there is a dangerous prisoner. Let's build a prisoner's cart. I started taking the reference measurements for my cage on a piece of chipboard. On a thin slice of foam I created wooden planks. Check my tutorial number 4. I then simply glued the boards on both sides of the card. Most of this tutorial is based on measurements done by eye, eyeballing, trying to never stop the creative process without too many projects. For the sides of the cart, I first took the long side of the cage as a reference. The result is the measurements that you see here. Quick and easy. Having cut the two trapezoids, I glued them on the sides of my base. I created other wooden boards and very quickly I glued them on three sides, measuring by eye and cutting away the excesses from time to time.
I used toothpicks with a square section to create the reinforcement of the cart. Even here I took the measurements directly on the piece, without worrying too much about the design aspect. For the upper edges I cut two wooden boards to sides, then I continued with the side reinforcements. lower part of the wagon and the various details are a sequence of small pieces added according to personal taste. At this point, I started the most complicated part. For my wagon, I wanted wheels that really turned. I retrieved metal rings from hooks for the curtains of the house and I glued them under the wagon, as you can see here. checking that they were perfectly aligned. Now the wheels. This project can be done simply with a cutter, but the proxon will simplify your life. Once I got the circles, I drew the wood grain.
I created central reinforcement, simulating the axis of the wheels with a piece of uh, toothpick. With the chipboard I created the metal reinforcement, simulating the holes for the nails with the drawing pin. This part is quite complicated. I recover two small rings, the ones that also I use for creating the handles of my doors, and I slip them between the two passing rings, as you can see here. With the super glue, I fixed the rings in such a way that they blocked the wheel axis in the optimal position. Then I glued the wheels, keeping them as perpendicular as possible to the axis. It should be noted that for reason of personal taste, my cart has larger wheels at the rear. More bits here and there, and we are ready to paint our wagon. Being a piece that will have uh, to be abused a lot on the gaming table, a first hand of Mod Podge and black or grey paint is essential. I then gave a brown with a semi-wet brush. I colored the metal parts with metal gun silver Concluding with a dry brush with warm grey.
beautiful and working. This piece is a pillar of fantasy adventures and the cage can be removed to make it a supplies cart. Beautiful. Ok guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or Paypal and uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!